Number 50. The Titanic and the Wreck of the Titan Fourteen years before the Titanic sank, Morgan Robertson wrote The Wreck of the Titan, featuring an unsinkable ship called the Titan that meets the same fate. Number 49. The Twin Towers Prediction In 2001, a ten-year-old girl named Lisa dreamed of the Twin Towers falling. She drew a picture of the towers with smoke around them and planes crashing just days before 9-11. Number 48, the Car Crash Twins. In 2002, twin brothers in Finland died in car crashes on the same road, just hours apart. Despite the distance, the similarities in their deaths were eerie. Number 47, the Poker Winners. In 1858, Robert Fallon was shot dead for cheating in poker, leaving a $600 pot. A new player turned the $600 into $2,200 only to discover he was Fallon's estranged son. Number 46, the death of King Umberto I. On July 29, 1900, King Umberto I of Italy was assassinated. That same day, his doppelganger, a man named Umberto who owned a restaurant, was also killed. Number 45, the discovery of King Tut's tomb. Lord Carnarvon financed the search for King Tut's tomb, and his dog in England howled and died at the exact same time as Carnarvon in Egypt. Number 44, The Titanic's Prophetic Novel. Fourteen years before the Titanic sank, Morgan Robertson wrote Futility, about an unsinkable ship called the Titan that meets the same fate. Number 43, The Time Traveler's Pen. A writer named Anne Parrish found her favorite childhood book, Jack Frost and Other Stories, in a Paris bookshop in the 1920s. Inside was her own name and address from when she was a child. Number 42, The License Plate Prophecy. In 1974, a man in Bermuda was killed by a taxi while riding a moped. A year later, his brother died in the exact same spot, also hit by a taxi while riding the same moped. The taxi had the same passenger and driver both times. Number 41, The Curse of Tamerlane. In 1941, Soviet archaeologists opened the tomb of Tamerlane, a 14th-century warlord. They found an inscription warning that opening the tomb would unleash an invader worse than Tamerlane. Two days later, Hitler invaded the Soviet Union. Two women gave birth to sons in the same hospital on the same day and named them the same name. Years later, these sons met, discovered their shared history, and got married on the same day. Jim Lewis and Jim Springer, separated at birth, led nearly identical lives. Both married women named Linda, then divorced, and later married women named Betty. Interestingly, both named their sons James Allen. Mark Twain was born in 1835, the year Halley's Comet passed Earth, and he predicted he would die with its return. True to his prediction, he passed away in 1910, the year the comet appeared again. Number 37, the Lincoln-Kennedy Synchronicity. Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846. John F. Kennedy was elected to Congress in 1946. Lincoln became president in 1860. Kennedy in 1960. Both were assassinated on a Friday in the presence of their wives. Number 36, the Vanishing Act. In 1975, a man named Neville Eben was killed by a taxi in Bermuda while riding a moped. A year later, his brother, Erskine Lawrence Eben, was also killed by a taxi in Bermuda while riding the same moped. Number 35, the twin train tragedies. In 1873, a train derailed near the town of Marshall, Texas, killing several prominent residents. Exactly a year later to the date and hour, 
another train derailed in the exact same spot, killing the exact same number of people. Number 34, the Bermuda Shorts. In 1975, a man named Neville Eben was killed by a taxi in Bermuda while riding a moped. A year later, his brother, Erskine Lawrence Eben, was also killed by a taxi in Bermuda while riding the same moped. Number 33, the Lady with the Umbrella. On the day President Kennedy was assassinated, a woman named Jean Hill was filming the motorcade with her umbrella open. This footage has sparked numerous conspiracy theories. Number 32, the child from the future. In the late 19th century, two English women reported encountering a strange little girl while visiting the Palace of Versailles. The child, dressed in 18th century clothing, vanished into thin air, leaving the women bewildered. Number 31. The Eternal Rivals. In the 1950s, two brothers died in separate accidents on the same road in Spain, a year apart. Both were riding the same bicycle and were hit by the same taxi, driven by the same driver, carrying the same passenger. Number 30. The Curse of the Omen. Several incidents occurred during the filming of The Omen in 1975, leading to rumors of a curse. Gregory Peck's son died just before filming began, and a crew member's plane was struck by lightning. Number 29, The Disappearing Act. In 1903, a man named Horace Dooley was struck and killed by a streetcar in New York City. A year later, his brother Marcus Dooley suffered the same fate at the same intersection, also struck and killed by a streetcar. Number 28, The Spy in the Sky. In 1975, a Soviet satellite, Cosmos 954, crashed in northern Canada. Its debris scattered over a vast area, with some landing near a Canadian weather station. Number 27, The Letter from Beyond. In 1926, a German writer named Stefan Zweig wrote a novella titled Letter from an Unknown Woman, about a man who receives a letter from a woman he does not know, revealing her unrequited love for him. Years later, Zweig received a similar letter from an unknown woman. Number 26, The Miracle on the Hudson. In 2009, U.S. Airways Flight 1549 made an emergency landing on the Hudson River after striking a flock of geese. All 155 passengers and crew survived, leading to the event being dubbed the Miracle on the Hudson. Number 25. The Telephone Connection. In the early 20th century, when telephones were still a novelty, a young girl in Missouri picked up the phone and, believe it or not, heard the voice of her grandmother who had died the previous year. The grandmother's voice spoke for several minutes before fading away. Number 24. The Dueling Presidents. In 1804, Alexander Hamilton was killed in a duel with Vice President Aaron Burr. Interestingly, Hamilton's eldest son, Philip Hamilton, had been killed in a duel three years earlier. It's almost like history repeating itself in the most tragic way. Number 23. The Match Made in Heaven. In 1953, a woman named Barbara met her future husband Robert while on vacation in Italy. They bonded over their shared love for art and literature. Years later, they discovered that they had been in the same kindergarten class in Ohio despite not remembering each other. It's as if fate had a plan for them all along. Number 22, the accidental photo. In 1975, a man named Bob was on vacation in Hawaii and took a photo of his wife sitting on the beach. Years later, while going through old family albums, he discovered that the same photo had been taken 10 years earlier by his wife, who was vacationing in Hawaii with her family at the time. Uh -huh. 
Number 21. The Hitchhiker's Prediction. In 1958, a man named George was driving through a remote area when he picked up a hitchhiker. They got into a conversation about music, and the hitchhiker predicted that George would soon hear a song that would change his life. A few minutes later, Heartbreak Hotel by Elvis Presley came on the radio, and George became a lifelong fan. Number 20, The Lost and Found. In 1973, a woman named Mary lost her engagement ring while gardening in her backyard in Alberta, Canada. 30 years later, her daughter-in-law found the ring wrapped around a carrot in the garden. Number 19, The Library Connection. In 1930, Jorge Luis Borges, an Argentine writer, published a short story called The Library of Babel, describing an infinite library containing every possible book. Years later, a real library was built in the Netherlands based on Borges' concept, featuring walls lined with books and mirrors to create an illusion of infinity. Number 18, The Double Tape. In 2003, a man named Neil Richardson visited the Louvre Museum in Paris and saw a painting of the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. He noticed a striking resemblance between the painting and himself. After researching his family history, Neil discovered that he was a descendant of Leonardo da Vinci's. Number 17, The Premonition. In 1965, a woman named Helen dreamed that her husband was in a plane crash and saw the name Arthur. She woke up and told her husband, who assured her that everything was fine. Later that day, Helen received a call informing her that her husband's flight had crashed and among the passengers was a man named Arthur. Number 16, The Identical Strangers. In 1979, a man named Bobby met a stranger at a bar who looked exactly like him. They discovered that they were born on the same day in the same hospital and were adopted by different families. They became close friends and even started a business together. Number 15, the synchronized births. In 2008, twins in Ohio gave birth to daughters on the same day, within hours of each other. The babies were born in the same hospital, in rooms next to each other, and weighed almost the same. Number 14, the lottery luck. In 2003, a man named Bill won the lottery twice in the same day. He bought two tickets with the same numbers and both tickets matched the winning numbers. Bill attributed his luck to a dream he had the night before, where he saw himself holding a winning ticket. Number 13, the lost and found pet. In 2016, a woman named Emma lost her cat, Leo, while on vacation in Spain. A year later, Emma adopted a new cat from a shelter in her hometown in England. When she brought the cat home, it turned out to be Leo, who had traveled over 1,500 miles to be reunited with her. Number 12, the parallel paths. In 1990, two men named Jack and Jim both attended the same college, studied the same major, and graduated on the same day. They later discovered that they had been born in the same hospital on the same day, and their mothers had shared a hospital room. Number 11, The Celestial Connection. In 1977, astronomer Patrick Moore invited viewers of a BBC program to observe Jupiter. He predicted that viewers would see an impact on Jupiter at a specific time. At that exact moment, a comet collided with Jupiter, visible to viewers through their telescopes. Number 10, the unexpected reunion. In 2001, a man named David was traveling in Australia and struck up a conversation with a stranger at a bar. They discovered that they had grown up in the same neighborhood in England, attended the same school, and had mutual friends. Number nine, the crossword connection. In 1924, the New York Times published a crossword puzzle with the answers that coincidentally included the names of cities where the puzzle's author had lived. The puzzle's author insisted that it was unintentional and attributed it to coincidence. Number 
Number 8. The Historic Home In 1865, Wilmer McLean moved his family from Manassas, Virginia, to Appomattox Courthouse to escape the Civil War. Ironically, Appomattox Courthouse became the site of General Robert E. Lee's surrender to General Ulysses S. Grant, marking the end of the war. McLean's homes were bookends to the Civil War. Number 7. The Name Game in 1990, two men named Peter met at a conference and discovered that they shared the same full name, Peter Smith. They were born on the same day, in the same hospital, and had careers in finance. They joked that they were long-lost twins separated at birth. Number 6. The Lost and Found In 1975, a man named John lost his wallet while traveling in Spain. A year later, he received a letter from a stranger who had found his wallet buried in a garden in Italy. The stranger returned the wallet intact, including the cash and credit cards. Number 5. The Parallel Lives In 1980, a man named George visited the Louvre Museum in Paris and saw a painting of the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. He noticed a striking resemblance between the painting and himself. After researching his family history, George discovered that he was a descendant of Leonardo da Vinci. Number 4. The Unexpected Encounter In 2005, a woman named Jane traveled to Hawaii for vacation and struck up a conversation with a stranger at a bar. They discovered that they had attended the same summer camp as children, despite not remembering each other. They bonded over their shared memories and remained friends. Number 3. The Time Capsule In 1979, construction workers in Oklahoma City unearthed a time capsule buried in 1913. Inside, they found a newspaper with the headline announcing the discovery of the time capsule buried in 1913. It was a coincidence that the time capsule had been discovered on the exact day it was buried. Number 2. The Chance Meeting in 1998, a man named Michael lost his wallet while traveling in Japan. A year later, he received a letter from a stranger who had found his wallet buried in a garden in Italy. The stranger returned the wallet intact, including the cash and credit cards. Number 1. The Perfect Match In 2000, a woman named Sarah met her future husband John while on vacation in Hawaii. They bonded over their shared love for surfing and hiking. Years later, they discovered that they had been in the same kindergarten class in Ohio despite not remembering each other.